Who else was good that I thought we'd talk about? Oh, Virgil actually had a had pretty interesting set at Coachella. I didn't watch it, but it looks fucking cool. Um, where's the pictures? He put he posts some really fucking cool pictures on here, actually. Yes, here it is. Um so Virgil did a, an, another kind of immersive set. I'm assuming it was immersive or some sort of like or something along those kind of lines. And again, it's interesting because I think I've said it to my low level when I was when I was playing at the Tap East. I think I mentioned it to um, the, the the couple of people that I'm organising with that I'd love to maybe have a little bit more of a setup in the place, right? Get you know dress up a little bit more. And there's not that there's not more of it that happens a lot, right? And I think essentially when you're playing at a festival, I think the reason why I don't like festival DJs and set in general DJs playing at festivals is that it's just it doesn't feel right, right? Because I'm so used to being in a nightclub and having it in a walled environment, and you know, like locked doors, dark rooms, smoke everywhere. So having an open space, having DJ play, especially so far away on the stage, you can't really see them. You don't really get the sense that you're actually together in this thing together, or you're actually like close to the intimate space, which you obviously not. It's Coachella, but I think the way you can fake an intimacy, right? You can maybe um, uh, engineer um, warmth and connection is by having these massive screens, right? You see a lot with Travis Scott, Kanye, Drake, ASAP Rocky. Those massive, especially when I saw ASAP Rocky at Premier Verde, that massive screen, especially for the girls, they were loving it. You got to see his face right up and close because the camera was zooming and you get to see a massive face of his on the side of the stage. So even if he's not moving around the stage too much, you get to see where he is everywhere at all times. And I think as a DJ, especially, oh, the Drake show is a good example of that too, that rectangular stage he's performing and there's screens all around it, right? So the stage and the screens all around the top of it. So even if you're not seeing the stage, you can just see the screen and you see him walking around the whole thing. So I think as a DJ, it's a really good thing to do because you get to see him play and then you get to put up loads of different projections on the screen that get to, you know, make it a bit more fun. And he did the same sort of thing at Coachella and it looks fucking awesome. So I've got it up here on the screen for you guys to check out. Um, if you guys are, if you guys listen to the podcast, I've just got Virgil Abloh's Instagram post. It's a post that says "Time flies," and I think it's a it's a bit it's a bit of type that was designed by uh, Futura, the graffiti and street made god for the most part. Um, so this is kind of what he designed about it. He designed the kind of the, the front of it. Um, they put it up here on the screen, and so you got Virgil Abloh playing here on a massive table, which I love, like right in the height that you need. Uh, with a massive projection on the back of it, put, putting together like random images behind him. And then you've got this image at the top, which is kind of similar to the Jeff Mills documentary that kind of came to prominence again due to the interview that he did recently with um, Resident Advisor, the kind of seminal one that most DJs kind of recite as a kind of reason to why everyone kind of gets started in DJing or wants to become a better DJ. And then um, again, you've got these little nice fucking um, images that come up behind the screen that really kind of set the vibe, you know, you kind of take inspiration from these architectural days. Um, and just in general, just a very immersive and real experience. It just feels fucking awesome, right? And then what makes it even cooler is wearing the gloves, right? They designed for, um, I think it's off-white, the kind of construction gloves. And look at the fucking decks. Look at the decks. They're see-through, pers- perspex, like completely see-through, Pioneer um, CDJs. I'm not just sure if this is a, a Pacific collaboration or if it's something that he just got done specially made for him, but that looks fucking cool. Like see-through CDJs. Like that is so fucking cool. Um, amazing, like really, really awesome. Like I can't, I can't get by how great that looks. I think the mixers see through too, right? Completely clear. Like look at that. Look how cool that looks. Like look how cool that looks. See through, clear pi- pioneer DJ. Like that looks insane. And he's mixed up, of course, with three D CDs. A lot of people are doing nowadays. It's just, it's just insane. It's really, really amazing. And I'm hoping there's a video made by. I think I saw a picture of Glen Jam uh, recording a video. The legendary kind of YouTube dude that records loads of kind of um, culturally relevant uh, streetwear Pacific kind of content. He goes to Coachella. He goes to Art Basel. He goes all that. Remember that stuff I, I talk about in the influencer cheat sheet, right? So that's what the kind of thing that he goes to. So I recommend you check it out. But yeah, Virgil did a pretty good set. It looks like but I liked it. I kind of missed the live stream, which I'm glad about. Hopefully someone recorded it so I can watch later because he usually plays quite a good. Um, hip hop set for the most part and kind of mixes in other stuff, so that was quite cool to see. So, but again, I'm liking I'm liking that the fact that at these live performances, I think for the most part, it just gets boring if you're a DJ playing behind like you know a massive black box with just a, a bit of cloth on the front of it. It's good to kind of make it a bit more expressive, and I like how bare, how kind of a stripped down it is. Just the table with the things on it, the camera on top, the screen at the back. It's really fucking precise and amazing. And I'm, I think hopefully in the next couple of years we'll see probably more DJs and more people, more artists. Uh, start to take a bit more of a active role in kind of the construction of the units that they use when they're DJing and everything. And we're going to see maybe advance a little bit more than what we've seen in previous.